about the side lane. He yeah. will go Scion. So Bissell Mask into Banner of Command Scion in order to play the lanes zero or five times a game. And speaking of death, it's Pretty a level one game. Impressive Rune Prison coming through here. Haro looking for the lockdown. And Khan, yeah, he's got nowhere to go. Doesn't burn the flash. He's just going to get taken down immediately. Zooming his way through here. Axe not going to connect there onto Cube, but he's still got the flash available. Will now jump away, but they're jumping in. Get the decimating slam in for the slow, and now he's got nowhere to go. Hit comes through. Khan finds revenge. They'll essentially tie up the goal. Now Peanut's coming around from the side. They're looking for a map player. Talia coming down as well. Haru oh spots boy. him. Yeah, BDD getting ready to come through. Ruler going to get jumped on, and he might just get popped. There it is. BDD finds the kill. Now looking for a second one as Court JJ gets locked down. He'll die. In the meantime, Gorilla has been picked off on the backside as Haru arrives. But a double kill goes over to BDD, and now Haru has to try to make it in underneath the turret. He'll take a significant chunk of damage, and here comes the curtain call. One shot, one kill. Ray picks it up. And once again, playing with their food is King Zone. Gorilla flashed into Haru, not ideal. Crown's in the bot lane. Seismic shove, Deadly Flourish not going to connect, but now Peanut's coming one. straight back in. Crown gets locked up. Stun connects, however, they're on to Prey. Vision, they have Peanut hovering around the red, and he's just going to go aggressive here onto Haru. Misses the axe as he jumps away with a hook shot, but it's still really chasing through. This. Yeah, he's looking for it. Ultimatum comes down to get the pop up there onto Peanut, but Haru's still one hit. Peanut will be able to get the kill, devour. From Gorilla drags him back out. They'll clear out more. But speaking to Gorilla, he says, just like on the Rocks Tigers, it is Peanut shot calling in the early game, largely around jungle. And sick. Well, Peanut's walking out, but not that tanky. He's got the Ragnarok coming through. Technical sweep hits, and now Abyssal Voyage comes in. Seismic shove gonna miss. But the Deadly Flourish finds the catch, and that's just gonna be Crown getting obliterated. Didn't need to pop the flash. He gets taken down. They fish for a couple hits there with the remaining curtain call shots, but don't find anything. And that's the biggest evolution for King Zone over the course of the season is, when they started the season, Peanut was caught in the enemy jungle a couple of times. Like, okay, this is something that we saw this one has leveled up, being the biggest change with King Zone over the 18 best of threes they will have played by the end of this series. They always rotate with their jungler. They one are. Down. I'll just grab the Krugs instead. Pretty much all that KSV can get their hands on. And Dragon getting ready to come up. King Zone could just rotate. How to play the game. The superstar moments as well, but they get the objective, the Weavers want the perfect Not much else time. to say about it. KSV can't really commit in for anything. Well, I say that, but Haru's going to be looking for a pick there onto Peanut, but immediately has to start jumping away. Deadly Flourish. We're going to hold a couple at the end, but all six of them. It's a bit rare as Haru goes over. Oh, he no. just wanted the red buff, guys. You're a bunch of bullies. They'll kill him. They'll take the red. 7-2 to two is King Zone. Oh, I have a dematerializer. I'll go there, too. And that is a force just because you built an item. So there is still Fair. something around it, but I do Damage follow your line. could die again, though. He is going to be walking around. Gorilla looking for him. Seismic shove catches him, and he just disappears. BDD, want to see a magic trick? We say yes. And there goes that Camille. Ruler now getting jumped on. Final shot from the curtain call comes through, but just a little bit too late to scoop up the kill. Peanut will take that one for himself. Nine to two, two members dead. That should be... Poor JJ can't even try to push forward to get any vision on that one. He's just going to be going over. So 26 and a half minute Baron there to King. Olaf's in the mid lane actually through all of this KSV. Just don't want to lose a second turret. Weave his wall. He's going to go ahead. Yeah. Can't lock them in. But gets the instant flash out of crown as he was on the wrong side. 404. Root comes through, QV locked in. Yeah, it's just not been a good look here from Haru. Q Poor JJ going in, looking for the engagement. Khan is still just hanging up everything here on the front line. Prey gets chipped away at a little bit, but he's got the range, he's got the root. To push it forward. Seismic shove not connecting there onto QV, but really they're flashing in. They're just gonna go ahead and blow him up. Prey finds the killing blow 10 to 2 in the end. And do they just go for the victory here off this point? Oh, he gets the answer. That's gonna be the answer. Yes, Crown just disappears. Double kill going over to Prey. As he's looking for a little bit more damage, finds that last shot in on the core JJ. And they are just working their way through the base now. Seismic shove not gonna hit core JJ still yet again, just dancing around, trying to keep himself alive. Haru goes forward and with a hook shot, tries to get the stun. Ultimatum here in on the BDD, but he does not die. The power from Gorilla keeps him alive. And King Zone now will turn their sights in onto the Nexus turrets. One down, Khan sitting up front. Just trying to stop them from pushing forward, He's trying, trying to, to keep stop them, out them out the from defending. Weaver's Wall stops them from getting in the fountain, but the Nexus has been exposed here at 30 minutes, and King Zone should have this one in the bag. Still playing with that they food. Charge in, get the pop up ruler, disappears. Court JJ can't make it out. Prey claims another one. Haru will not make it away. Another double kill goes over to Prey, and Cube can do nothing but watch as the base crumbles around him. King Zone absolutely dismantled. <laughs> As KSV is going to take the scaling approach in the top lane, they go for a very quick gangplank. They're going to accept that. 
Kings didn't want to go for Gangplank themselves, even though they could have had. He's playing up towards this top side. It's going to be the Flash Body Slam coming through. He's going to get chunked out. He'll back up, but one more hit will do it. The auto attack comes through from Crown just before he flashes away. BDD dead. First blood over to Gangplank. Cannon Barrage doesn't oh, really want to go he around. He's going to say hello. As the lockdown there, BDD is ready to scoop up this kill. He's going to oh. flash over the wall. Peanut chases oh. him, but the Body Slam comes through. Now the Barrage from the sky. They will be able to kill the Talia, but Peanut, he trades that one for his life. BDD pushed forward here, trying to get some damage in. Auto Ambition, TP a bit late as the Rune Prison comes down, and Core JJ is here to back him up. For this control. They try and burst They're it. going over the wall. That's going to be the Body Slam into the knockback. Seismic shove as well just to keep him contained. And Peanut, he'll use the Impale, but it doesn't matter. Ambition comes up with a kill. Third one here for KSV as BDD trying. Right. Just going to go ahead and allow this cloud to be taken. Free of charge. Now that the early phase is over for Ambition, he can do playmaking. Well, that's going to be the Weaver's Wall coming through. Khan building up that Nar bar, not going to come in with the TP, and a big chain of corruption comes down. Finds three. Glacial Fisher thrown in as well, but the seismic shove knocks Gorilla back in. They take him down as Ruler finds the kill. Peanut has to run for the hills because he still does not have that impale back off cool. Can't really do much, and KSV, they're going to find the first turn of the game and accelerate this pace even more. They'll find themselves up 2.3 on the other side, but actually blocks it. Beautifully done there. By the Unbreakable, Chain of Corruption comes through into the Feather Storm there from Ruler as he gets out alive. Everybody just dogpiling in on top of the Braum and he's going to go down as Ruler finds the kill. A pale there from Peanut does get the kill onto Ambition, so they trade one for one. But KSV, they're still just a few hits away from taking down this mid-tier one turret. There's enough health onto BDD. He might be able to repel this as Crown is being relentless in how much he's willing to push up. Playing to their win conditions, playing to their drop, re-engage. Another pop up there, Khan down to half HP, takes the quick hop away, and BDD still is just suffering. As the Zaya shoots there on the Gorilla, has the Unbreakable to help stay alive. Ocean Drake now taken. It's important it's information, open they up know Gragas can't be there. So we'll go ahead and finish off this turret. We'll see if they want to keep pushing forward. Khan nearly has the transformation ready to go. They get the catch up here on the ruler on the backside. Pops the heal. Nearly has Feather Storm. Where JJ looks forward. Goes in with the quickness. Locking them in. Gorilla shoved back through. It's going to be a train of this support so far. As Ambition now arrives. The rest of King Zone is going to be exiting Juan, down no the No trade up. Cuvee face checking. Yep. That's going to be Cuvee getting locked in. Down to half HP. BDD. Yeah. There's just nothing he can do. The damage comes through from the rise. A little bit of a tickle there. Immediately go back up top. They'll take down this turret, so still want to stay ahead, want to keep accelerating the pace of this game, so it's going to be 3-1 to one in turret, 6-4 to four in kills. Get those control wards down, start to play around Baron as well. We're seeing a friend come to join Cuvee. Yeah, Khan going to be in a very bad spot here, trying to trade back on the Cuvee. Takes a double hop to the side, but Crown has just been so accurate. Tries to go for the trade kill. Yeah. You bait yourself into looking for the big outplay when, like you say, just being controlled is probably the right way. It's flash over. That's going to be Core JJ going in, gets the pop up there on the peanut, but Core JJ is now so very low into the back line. As Khan arrives, he's got the Mega Dart ready to go. Flash be damned. He finds two stun to the wall, but can't follow up for the kill so far. Going to be that one for one as they try to kite back. Khan gets the wallop, but he gets taken down as Ruler finds the kill. He has to be pushing yeah, over for me. a pick. Keep coming through, KSV, the peel off, and they are ready to go. Gorilla arrives, but he has to say goodbye immediately. They delete him, and now they turn straight back over to this Baron. It should be Baron for KSV. Baron's going to walk up, but he's already seen the first pick on this area. No, there's a ward there. They're looking for the turn as BDD has oh, stuck Prey around. Yet again, falling for the same trap that his support did. Now BDD also in a bad spot. They're going to be pushing ready to come through now a weaver's wall arriving peanut. yeah they're looking for peanut they get the pop up they get the quickness they get the lockdown and they get the kill another one over to ruler and now with no smite to counter them ksv should be feeling confident enough to start this one up king zone how do they approach stopping this a flash on varus but other summoners are down almost impossible for king zone to contest this the realm warp is also down See what happens here, 4,000 on the Baron. No flash available here from Khan. Gorilla gonna be up front, has to jump away from the seismic slam, and that should just be it going over to KSV. Khan kiting back, they're gonna be looking for a pick perhaps here on the ground in Cuba, but now Khan, he's just gonna be stranded up in the front line, has the transformation, but he's just getting ripped apart here in the mini NAR form. They'll have to go for any sort of fight here, but they're trying. He doesn't have the flash. Ruler almost goes down. BDD now feeling reinvigorated. Pushes forward, looking for QV. Ruler gets a nice drag through Khan. Gets one stun into the wall, jumps away, but will go down in the end as Ambition finds the kill. But BDD finishes off the GP. He can't reconnect with the rest of his team. Prey is cut off. And it is on to the split pusher, so that part is decent when it comes to the one-for-one. 
The Inferno goes over to KSP. Cool blocks that one, but still have to surrender this turret. Vision goes forward, throws out the explosive cast. She's not straight to the side. Quite a bit. They want to finish this off. Khan looking for the pick on the side, but two gets pushed forward with that seismic shove, and Gorilla will go down. Unbreakable will be damned. He falls, the turret follows suit, and Vision way too far forward will get punished for that one as Prey finds a kill finally in this game. But Ruler is just so fearless, goes in for the Featherstorm, and will just take down Prey. BDD just an afterthought at the end of this one. Another seismic shove connects in onto Khan. He's got the transformation ready. He's trying to make it in under the turret, but Cube is hot on his heels. Finally transforms and will stay alive, but KSV can do whatever they want with a base. And that's what happened. Ruler got farmed up. He's got the Zeke's Convergence. He's huge and able to just burst down anyone who looks at him funny. Cube wasn't able to pick up the kill, but can just push up, get even more standing gold on the map. He's not shadowing him, but... Another hit coming through, Weaver's Wall. Double Hop will take Khan out to safety, but they have to lose the turret. Seventh of the game here to KSV. 12,000 gold up. Oh. Okay, King Zone now pushing forward. Gorilla jumps away from that seismic shove. But yet again, Cannon Barrage comes down. Gorilla throws out the Glacial Fisher, but it's just not going to be enough. He gets popped. His crown claims another one. Mission was able to hold on to the Unbreakable. So, uh, Wait until the Unbreakable was down. Didn't even need to use his ultimate. So they do have the turn here with the cask. Now they'll just kite back, wait for Khan to expire here with the Megan Arthur. They go turn. in. Big quickness just locks them all in. And King Zone cannot get away. BDD gets shoved back. Featherstorm comes through. They'll take him down as Ruler finds another one. That's going to be the ace. That's going to be the game. KSV take down King Zone in game number two. And that means we get the game number three with KSV looking oh so hard in game number two. Suddenly, their very far hopes of making it to playoffs are reignited. If they win game number three, they go through. This is a Monkus moment for SK Telecom going into game number three. KSB have the moment. Going for all out power versus this Varus Braum. This is a very much a mid game choice by King Zone. They see the Ash and Jin Ban, and the Unbreakable. Notice the Unbreakable's on cooldown. They're going to try this down. play. The hook comes through for JJ, trying to get locked. Trying to lock him up. They come over the wall. They lock in that Ferris, and he's going to get popped as Gorilla finds that first blood. Now, BDD off the back side of the Weaver's Wall comes in. Wall is going to get destroyed. Core JJ just a couple hits left to go. Tries to cheat his way into the minions to avoid that threaded volley, but he gets taken down in the end. lanes. They're not in position to contest this. See that chunk going there on the crown. Then you look at his inventory. He hasn't shopped in a while. He still has the Ninja Tabby and the Door and Shield, so this should be a massive purchase for him. Sheep uh, cool on Q oh, is mid lane. Yet again here, Ambition will go ahead and get the grab, smacks him together into that nice rim of shuffle. They push him back towards the turn. He'll take a shot. BDD is just trying to kite his way out of here, but he's got no summoner spells left. This is just a matter of time as he goes down. And the top lane, Cole JJ had roamed up as well oh, with race. Oh. Largely is decided by the close of today's broadcast. SKT should know if their match against Kongdu tomorrow is it's just the, the game. And we always talk about what a vision line means. They've got two control wards around Prey and no other vision on the map. So King Zone with an early rotation comp who wants to get the Thresh out of lane. Yeah. This is a Drake to be excited about. A third spawn Ocean, less exciting. The one one we can look at and roll our eyes Side a little here, bit. Khan waiting in the brush. Bit of damage there. Tries to jump away, but gets interrupted on the hook shot. Now has the flash. They get the grab. He slows them up. Trim a shuffle. Or Emperor's Divide, rather, not really going to get the connection. They throw in the ultimate there from the Sejuani, but they don't get the lockdown. Nice play there as Kimei pushes three back, but he is isolated, and he will get taken down. Khan finds the third kill here for King Zone as they try to turn up the heat. They're just rushing down the Baron completely blind is King Zone, and they are about to get a very ill omen right there as they get that audio cue. They realize what's happened. They didn't have any Answering out a turret. Certainly not what they were looking for. Very nice play by KSV. Absolutely bonkers. Would love to see the start of that one. I mean, the falls in a second. Still just so on to see King Zone pull away from that top side of the map and not even throw down any vision around the Baron in this yeah. mid-tier two. And Khan was doing so well in this lane. Doesn't mean much now that the Baron is there. Won't feel strong enough to all in. They will slowly use this turret as say that, say that wrong. the exec ultimatum and now BDD does arrive. Nice. They take out Cuve, alleviating a lot of pressure and that's only gonna be bookkeeping if it's taken as Crown instantly deletes the turret. Ronomicon on both of the mid laners. Crown will have an easier time procking it on a whole team because Talia's damage very often does not go through the front line. See, isn't this exciting? I mean at least it dies pretty fast. See it, great.
Definitely not going to be leaving any latitude around Baron again. Here's the pick. Yeah, they're looking for a chin eruption coming in. He's going to get absolutely obliterated. Khan just had no chance of getting his way out of there, even with the flash available. Max, Peanut pushes forward, stops Crown and Ambition. The rest of the team is still hovering nearby, but they're not going for the picks. Instead, Khan will just go ahead, get that inner turn. And do see Khan oh, that's going to be engaged. engaged coming through. q going to get it locked in by the ultimatum. Seismic Shove connects, and yet again, the duo of Camille and Talia take this one away. Mission one level up. He's going to be leaping in. The play comes through. The box has been thrown down. 3,500 left here onto this Baron in the meantime. Brown. Empress of Ida comes through. BDD tries to chunk out Crown, but he pushes the Sand Soldiers forward, but he hasn't been able to get the kill yet. Flash away in the meantime. Prey doing so much work. Comes up with a double kill, and King Zone might have just swung their way back into this game. BDD Gets will him. go down, but Prey finds the triple kill in the end. Ambition gonna fall as Khan claims it. They're gonna get the Baron, and KSV's hopes might have just disappeared. Kingzone may have won this game from their play around bot side. They finally got vision over Baron. They got the all important pick onto Cuve, and the entire passenger play afterwards was the first time KSV were out of position on Baron. In a good on 20 minutes, Achilles, they were able to finally get control. They made the decisive call to go away from the Baron to get the pick, and now they push with Baron and want to break the base. They'll be able to do just that, even with 10 seconds left here on the ruler. Expect to get a decent push going. We'll go ahead and take down the inner turret. Engage if you're KSV. You know that BDE will take time to move over. Yeah, no Weaver's Wall up. It's still halfway on cooldown. No minion wave. But also enough AD to both whack turrets and whack the Gnar. So things get better and better in the side lane, as you can see. Final shot there. In mid end bot as the inhibitors are exposed. King Zone looking to close this up. Sand turret comes down. Khan takes a big chunk off of Cube as Peanut is locked up there for the moment, but has that dark patches to take himself back out to safety. Half HP on both of these, now down to a third as one in mid goes down. And all of KSV just have to crap over around here, try to turtle out this final in hit, but Khan gets one more hit off that sheen. It's going to go down. They don't want to force because Krula doesn't have flash to get back over the wall, but they're being respectful. They know they are so close. Basically denying any hopes of playoffs to KSV. Lockdown comes through, they find Court JJ, they don't go in, but Ambition dies. Immediately, they're on Dead. the box, he's gonna get popped, yeah, no passive to speak of. Prey finds the kill, and just like that, the engage is out the window. Two inhibitors down, no Baron buff left, but Kingstone are gonna have these super creeps pushing into the base momentarily. Ambition got desperate, also the Chains of Corruption just goes wide from Roar. That one that hit onto Faker decided the World Championship. That one goes wide, and looking to potentially end the game. There is an Azir, there is a Varus, there's no guarantees. They look for another hook there, don't find it, KSV. Is doing everything they can to burn through the minion waves that are pushing forward. Look how much gold they're sitting on, 17. There's about 10,000 gold in the inventory. Which means the gold is pretty Massive even. Mount hook comes in, that's gonna be Gorilla going in for the hit. He's gonna get locked up, the turret goes down before he can finish off the Thresh. Ray's Ray really jumped low. out, but he's gone back in, gets a massive crit straight in on the crown. And now they've found Court JJ, no unbreakable, no one to block the damage, and Prey is just letting all hell break loose here. Onto the members of KSV, Ambition comes back up, tries to trade something back, tries to pop the Guardian Angel there onto Khan, but he cannot do anything. King Zone will close this out in the end. It was hard fought. It was heartfelt from KSV, but in the end, they fall short. Kingzone are the kings of the LCK. They will ride into that Grand Finals three weeks from now with a 2-1 win over the World Champions. And that means that the World Champions are all but eliminated from the LCK playoffs. They require SKT to lose to Kongdu Monster or a pretty significant loss by Rox Tigers against Jin Air. It's not written in stone.